Hello, my name is Raven Knight, and this part of the video will demonstrate how I created the effect that you just saw. That is, for the player to transport from one UDK map into another UDK map. This also resets all of the player's statistics, such as health, ammunition, weapons. So it is basically a clean start in a new UDK map. So why don't I go ahead and show you how I did that. First I will create the destination map. All it needs for a demonstration is a very simple map. I'm going to make it 1024 by 1024 by 32, which I think is a fairly standard map. And then add that. I'm going to throw on a quick texture. And I need to have a light so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to add a point light. I have to move it up a bit. And I need to add a player start. And this is really all that's needed for the destination map. It's very simplistic. So I will go ahead and build all. And save this map. Now it is very important that you save it in your maps directory. UDK UDK your version, UDK games, content, maps. If it is not in this directory, UDK won't be able to find it. I'm going to call this one my test 2 since it's the destination map. Okay, now I will start a new map. Once again, I'm just going to create a simple map for demonstration purposes, the same size. Add it in. I'm going to add a texture, but I'm going to make sure it's a different texture so I can quickly tell the difference. I will once again need a light. Add a point light. I will need a player start. And I'm going to add in a static mesh to show where the player needs to go to enter the second map. I'm going to turn this around here. It'll cooperate. There we go. And I need to put a trigger underneath this arch. This trigger is what's going to tell the game that it's time to switch maps. I'm going to open up its properties and make it a little bit easier to hit. Not that big. That would be huge. I'm going to make it 128 by 80. to keep that selected and open Kismet. Right click to get the menu and add new event using trigger 0. I'm going to have it so that when the player touches this trigger they will transport to the new map. So it's a touch trigger. Right click a new action. Go down to miscellaneous and add a console command. 
connect the trigger to the console command. You need a target for the console command, so right click, new variable, player, player, connect target to the player. I'm only having a player one, um, um, only having one player in this, so I'm just going to make a player zero. The command that goes in the console command is open whatever you named your map, your destination map, UDK, and that's what will load the new map. You can close Kismet. That's really all that's needed, although in my demonstration I added one more item. One flashes, pickups, a weapon pickup, a weapon pickup factory. Right click and add it there. Double click for the properties. And a rocket launcher. UT Web rocket launcher content. And that's all that you need there. And then go ahead and build all. And now we can test the level. Here's another important point. You cannot test the level in an editor window. Well, technically you can test it there, but it won't do anything. The only way switching maps works is if you test it on the PC. So go ahead and click to test the level on PC. That means you'll have to wait for a little bit for UDK to open up. Depending on how fast your machine is, we'll determine how fast this goes. Oh, here we go. The UDK game is starting up. Loads directly to my level. There's the arch. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to pick up the rocket launcher and do something really dumb. I'm going to hurt myself. Ow. It definitely hurt. So I'm at 50% health, 8 ammo, and I have a rocket launcher right now. And now I will go through the gateway to the second map. As you see, it is completely reset. My weapon is back to the default weapon. My health is back to 100%. And that is basically all there is to this changing levels. So that will end this demonstration. Thank you for watching.